Hello everybody and welcome to That's Football. You know, Chelsea, they may not have much quality control at times when it comes to signing players, but you cannot disrespect their ability to get deals done. And Casido, we can tell you tonight, has chosen Chelsea as his football club. I'm not telling you that. This is coming in from social media. This is coming in from Pletty Gold. Fabrizio's hinted at it heavily as well. But Casido, we were only talking about this this morning, about what an interesting transfer battle this was going to be. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to take long to reach its conclusion. Casido has chosen Chelsea is the big story tonight. Bayern Munich miss out. Arsenal apparently pulled out a little bit earlier today to focus on Declan Rice which gives Chelsea this amazing signing, which I'm sat here stunned because I'm like, well, look, Chelsea, look, as I said at the start of the video, whatever you think about Chelsea, whether it's the Abramovich years or whether it's the Todd Bowley years, you can't argue with the fact that they go out and get deals done. Todd Bowley, I think, has been a bit haphazard, but if they stabilise, I mean, look, even in January, Enzo Fernandez, Bader Shield, uh, Jao Felix on loan. Whether they work out or not, I still think they're good signings. Last summer, Koulibaly was a good signing. Sterling was a good signing. So they're capable of making good signings and they're capable of being very efficient. And I think this shows again. But the thing I find amazing, and, and the credit to Chelsea here, is that that is not an easy deal to do. And forget how easy it is to negotiate with Brighton. And maybe Colwell is an interesting factor here because Brighton do want to sign him. And will we see him go the other way? Because Chelsea, that may be how they've got Brighton to agree, but how they've got Casido to agree is fascinating when you consider Chelsea are not nailed on to get top four next year. It's not like, oh, it's a year out the Champions League and we'll be back. The way the Premier League is now, Man City, you'd expect Newcastle could be there, Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool. There's five clubs for the top four. So Chelsea don't necessarily step into that. And they're not in the Champions League and they're not in the Europa League. So Casido going to Chelsea when they haven't got European football and it's not nailed on that they'll definitely get it next year. I think they probably will, but it's not nailed on. What your thoughts are, I think that's a significant deal. I think it's a, a, a very big, I think it will end up being a big deal. But I think it's the sort of deal when you're looking at Chelsea, if you're Pochettino, that's the sort of deal. With Kante going, Mount's probably going to go. Bringing in a player like Casido, one of the standout players in the Premier League last year, you've not seen the best of Enzo Fernandez again. I think you will see the best of Enzo Fernandez with someone like Casido next to him. It's exciting for Chelsea, and they're coming from a low point. So this is this is the enthusiasm they need to build to build back. And Chelsea will be looking at Man United last summer and going, look, they'd had a bad season, and look at what happened. And that's what Chelsea need to do. Get your comments in below. Smash a like on the video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Speak to you on the next one.